For some of my videos critiquing this game, I see a lot of comments that suggest switching the game to full manual controls for online and competitive play would make the game better, and theoretically that's correct. However, in the current system and the current gameplay that we have, Full manual controls won't really improve the game that much, at least not on the wide scale that we think. The reason why I say full manual controls won't improve the game is because the biggest issues involving gameplay are not exactly affected by manual settings in the first place. However, before we dive into that, let's talk about the things that would be affected by manual controls. Now there are a small amount of minor changes that would be impacted and indeed make the game better. For example, small passes that are being made between two players five yards away from each other will be completely dependent on the user. That means that in this clip, where my opponent unfortunately passes the ball past his standing teammate and to me instead, won't happen unless the opposition player is aiming there. Regardless of the passing stat, if the aim and the power were accurate and correct, the pass would be completed. And that's a good thing. I don't think anyone believes that this type of pass should ever be misplaced in an assisted eSport game, even in the current gameplay that we have. Another situation that would be potentially improved is shooting in 1v1 situations. No more would we see players miss green time shots towards the opposite side of the goal that the keeper moved to. This situation, with proper aim and proper power, would be a goal in a full manual game. Again, this is a good thing, because these are very easy and simple situations that would be rewarded more often than they currently are. However, these are the only specific situations where full manual controls will actually affect the game. So now, let's talk about the situations where full manual controls will not impact the game whatsoever. Unfortunately, the parts that won't be improved are actually the game's biggest problem, starting with the biggest problem in the game, inconsistent gameplay. Regardless if everyone has manual controls or not, inconsistent gameplay will still be a major issue. It won't matter if I perfectly aim a shot with perfect power because my striker is taking an extra three steps to take a shot since the gameplay is so slow. It won't matter if I perfectly aim a pass because the player making the pass does those little tippy taps and takes an extra full second to make the pass. And the inconsistent gameplay won't be the only thing not improved either. The AI would still be a massive issue. We all know that the attacking AI in this game is not good. In this example, my winger, Hugo Sanchez, who was on cut inside and get in behind, does the literal exact opposite of his instructions and instead starts running right towards the defender rather than going into the acres of space. Regardless of full manual controls, bad attacking AI would still be occurring and Hugo Sanchez would still be running directly into the defender for some reason. Referees would still be a mess, glitches would still be running rampant in the game, player switching would still be awful, and manual goalkeeping would still be the bane of my existence. This is the one instance of manual play that I absolutely hate. Now you guys could say, well, passing and shooting would be manual, so most of the skill gap would still be there. Again, theoretically, that is absolutely correct. However, there is one thing that will always make full manual controls debatable in this game and that's player stats. A player's stats will unintentionally blur the line between what should and what should not happen, even when you aren't discussing full manual controls. The example that I used earlier, where the player misses the shot even though it was green timed, and the goalkeeper moved to the opposite side of the goal, could be debated between people because some would say that the player could have very low finishing. Now, I believe that it should still go in anyway because I'm not dumb, but the point still stands. Obviously, in easy situations like this pass from five yards away or this wide open shot, the user's aim and power would be the most important thing. So again, full manual settings would be beneficial in these situations. But what about in a situation that's not so easy or simple? If I'm using a player, let's say my wingback Tamiyasu, who only has 73 long passing and 66 vision, and I perfectly aim my pass to a striker making a run with the perfect amount of power, 
Should this pass be completed? You could argue that yes, it should be completed, because even though Tamiyasu's passing stats aren't that good, my manual passing was perfect. On the other hand, you could argue no, it shouldn't be completed, because even though I did everything right, his passing stats aren't good enough to make the pass in the first place. But what about short passing? If two players are closing the space between an open teammate, and I perfectly aim the pass between those two players, should the pass be completed even though my goalkeeper Dudek, the player passing the ball, has only 33 short passing? Again, it's a very difficult discussion in this case, and if you want a more in-depth discussion about full manual controls in relation to passing, check out Italian Stallion's video from FIFA 21. I know it's from a few years ago, but the video still has a lot of good points. You could also make that same hypothetical situation in regards to shooting as well. If I aim a shot perfectly from the outside of the box with someone who has low finishing, shot power and long shots, should it go in? Sorry, I was bored of finding footage, so I hope this picture is okay. The point of this is that full manual controls will only improve the game in very specific and easy situations. In some cases, manual controls won't make an impact on the issues that we have in the game, like inconsistent gameplay or attacking AI, and in other situations, you can argue about what should be more important between the input of the user and the stats of the player, thereby minimizing the impact of manual controls in the first place. Personally, I believe that we have to fix the current issues that we already have before we can even start talking about manual controls in the first place. And once those are fixed, they obviously won't be fixed, but just stay with me here. We'll need to talk about how important stats truly are in this game. Some users will pay an extra 2 million coins for an inform Mbappe when his upgrade is literally just a plus one on his important stats. I mean, can anyone genuinely tell me if they actually feel a difference between 97 and 98 pace? Because you're lying if you say you can. So this means for manual controls to be in the game, the amount of subjectivity needs to decrease because at the moment, there is still a lot of debate about a player's stats, the user's actual inputs, and then the eventual outcome. In happier news, Tajikistan is through to the quarterfinals, baby! Up Tajikistan! International tournament supremacy, baby! International football, better than club football. Let's go. I said it, I don't care. International, international football. International, I don't care. I don't care. International football.